Staff Sergeant James Sides lost his right arm in an explosion in Afghanistan. Now he's the first patient to test a myoelectric prosthetic hand. Tiny wireless sensors about 16 millimeters long are embedded directly into the residual muscles of the amputee's limb. They detect the signals that travel from the brain to the muscles and control specific movements. The signals are captured and sent wirelessly from the sensors to a decoder box which translates them into the intended movement in the artificial limb. The system allows for three degrees of movement, opening and closing of the hand, rotation of the wrist 180 degrees clockwise and counterclockwise, and lateral movement of the thumb, allowing the patient to easily perform daily tasks. Mm, 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 mm.